Allahu Akbar! Militants training among the sand dunes of Gaza. Masked, armed, ready to fight, and female. Allahu Akbar! Training alongside men, they're calling for more Palestinian women to join Gaza's militant groups in the fight against their sworn enemy, the State of Israel. We are given rare access to some of these women. These four belong to the Salahuddin Brigades, one of the many militant groups in Gaza. Sitting beside a table of guns, rocket-propelled grenades and mines, the scene is carefully choreographed and the message is clear. This woman says the Salahuddin Brigades trained me how to use weapons, how to shoot and deactivate mines. She says, I am trained and ready to be a suicide bomber against Israeli soldiers. Jewelry on one hand, a hand grenade in the other. These women say they are ready to fight Israel in any future war, a prospect considered possible by both sides as cross-border violence has increased in recent weeks. Many in Gaza see them as freedom fighters, but they are reviled as terrorists by Israel and many Western countries. A second woman tells me she wants to fight Israel and is ready to die for her cause. She says our children are living in destruction and fear. They're wetting themselves at night because they're afraid of Israeli airstrikes. It is hard to reconcile the sight of children's rucksacks hanging on a tree next to these heavily armed women. I'm told that there are tens of female fighters here in Gaza, just like the ones standing behind me. Some as young as 20, some as old as 50, all of them saying they're willing to do whatever it takes to fight. They tell me that Israeli women fight in their military, so why shouldn't they fight alongside men? The first female Palestinian suicide bomber struck at the height of the Intifada, or uprising, in January 2002 in Jerusalem. Wafa Idris from a refugee camp in the West Bank killed one Israeli and wounded dozens of others. And a young mother from Gaza carried out a suicide bombing in 2004 at the crossing into Israel. Even though it is now difficult to get from Gaza into Israel, at least one of these women says she is willing to follow in their footsteps.